Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a store review or at least a review of something I bought off of a website and we're going to be talking about that today. So the website I ordered from was called Muscota and I did this whole order a, like a long time ago already and I bought a chinchilla wheel because our chinchillas didn't have anything at the time and I personally think that a wheel is a necessity for a chinchilla. So I found this website while doing a Google search of chinchilla wheels that you can buy online. This is the biggest wheel, like in diameter, that I could find for sale online. So Muscota is a like an animal store website online and I think you can set it to a bunch of different countries depending on where you live and they've got a bunch of products for a lot of different kinds of animals. So in the small animal section I picked up this wheel. I think it's called like the Trixie wheel or something and it was the biggest size that they had and yeah so I picked this up. It was about 470 Rand for this and including the shipping it said it came from like Spain or something I don't know so to first of all talk about the whole shipping process it took a very long time and you, the website does allow you to track your shipping but I don't know it's not the best kind of thing and then also once it reached South Africa here, if this isn't the website and their deliveries fault, like once it got to customs here in South Africa, it took a long time. It took like three months or something to move through customs because South Africa has a terrible postal service. So that's not the website's fault. So it did take a very long time to get to me. But yeah, not the website's fault. So looking at this wheel, it looks quite big next to my face, but it's only 29 centimeters across and like 8 centimeters deep. And while I knew that it was 29 centimeters across when I bought it, it was the biggest thing that I could find. And like I knew it was too small, but seeing it in person, it's like minute. It is minute, this wheel. So, the minimum size requirement for a chinchilla wheel, in my opinion, is 35 centimeters across. So, this is 29, it's like 6 centimeters too short, and those 6 centimeters make a very, very big difference. And also, the fact that it's only 8 centimeters deep, like, I put this in my chinchilla cage with the small chinchilla, like Kylo. I put it in with Kylo. Kylo is now like a few months. He was born in August of last year. He is too big for this already. Like, this isn't safe for a chinchilla. Like a baby chinchilla shouldn't really be running this intensely on a wheel, but they are about the only size that could fit like a, a month old chinchilla would maybe be the right size for this. But there is no adult chinchilla that can fit in this. No ways. Even if it was like deeper so that the chinchilla could actually fit in it, the way their back would curve and their spine would curve in this tiny thing would just be horrendous and it's, it's not safe for chinchillas. It is made out of pine, but who knows how this pine was treated or anything if it's really safe but yeah like I said I put it in there once just to see with baby Kylo but it, it didn't work uh, so this has just been sitting around gathering dust because I don't have any use for it and I'm not gonna put it with my chinchillas because that's not safe so when the order did come it came to a post office on the other side of the city which is strange but oh well and it came in this box, which has been, I don't know, been used as a storage box for some other rubbish. But um, the box was badly dinged up when it came. 
but luckily there was a box inside of this box and the wheel was in that box so the wheel came perfectly fine and the box inside here wasn't damaged at all but this outer box was a mess so this wheel like I said was around 470 Rand for this plus the shipping to get here I would not recommend it if you're gonna use it for chinchillas maybe you could use it for a hedgehog not that I know the wheel requirements for a hedgehog's size or like a mouse maybe but then again I also don't know about this wood like this base seems fine but this over here seems strange I don't know and it's also got cork inside here which is gonna be impossible to clean I think after your animal poos in there and then runs and stands in the poo I don't think that's gonna be a nice thing to clean but whatever as a whole I don't have anything bad to say about the website the product came perfectly fine the shipping time from when it left the warehouse or whatever and got to South Africa was fine so there's no problem there like I said from customs to where I live took an extremely long time but that's not their fault that's our postage systems fault that is horrendous but that's not their fault the website did have the tracking option and I did contact customer care multiple times when this was at customs because I wasn't sure like what was going on and then I emailed them a couple times and saying where is my product and they said well it's at customs and you know that's the end of their duty sort of so they did respond their customer service thing was fine and it was nice and they helped me so I can definitely recommend the website or from this one experience I had it wasn't negative so feel free to use the website if you want to buy this wheel for your mouse or they have smaller ones that you can maybe get for hamsters but don't go too small we all know hamsters need bigger wheels than these little things they sell at the pet shop but if you want to buy that and you think that the wood is safe and everything with all means do that just not for chinchillas and talking about chinchilla wheels I want to show you other options just while we're talking about chinchilla wheels because like I said this is extremely tiny and they can't, they can't do anything in it I don't even think my adult chinchillas could fit in here even if they wanted to they could get like their front body the front half of their body in there but that's about it so what we've done in the past was okay when we first bought our first chinchillas when we bought them from the breeder they had these like homemade wheels that we used and it worked great for a long time star and pepper were the first chinchillas we ever bought in the hopes to breed them they don't breed they're like brothers and sisters at this point not literally but anyway so when we bought them and their whole cage and setup that was made by the breeder we bought a wheel similar to this it's like a stainless steel bowl that's been I don't know made into a wheel uh, it wasn't this one that they had they had it was didn't have paint on and anything um, and that worked great for a, a very long time until star broke it and then when we bought bubbles then my mom bought this one and this one wasn't as great because it just it it moves this way in the cage when they run and it, it just wasn't as good as the first one I think she bought this maybe from a different breeder or from a different person who made it bubbles came from the same breeder but like a different per person made this I think but anyway so this wheel is about 38 centimeters across and like 13 this way so considerably bigger than the wooden one that I just showed you and this works well for chinchillas this is great and it's cheaper recently I saw an ad on Facebook of another chinchilla breeder here in South Africa who made a wheel similar to this and it was 250 Rand and then above that you probably pay 100 Rand for postage throughout South Africa so for 350 Rand you can get a decent sized chinchilla wheel made out of stainless steel which is easy to clean and there you go 
Whereas this one was 470 and it's too small and cannot be used and is now a decoration in the house. A few months ago when Bubbles had babies, we sold one of the babies to a lovely man who bought it for his daughter and he made a wheel for their chinchilla and it came out so nice and he sent me a video and then I said would you be able to make one for me? So he did end up making us two wheels for two chinchilla cages and they are massive. They are beyond the minimum size. They are like 45 centimeters in diameter and 25 centimeters wide, deep. So it's massive and it works wonderfully. The chinchillas love it. It also, because of its size, it's doubled as a hide that they like to lay in during summer because it's cooler and it's wood. So that's great. It was, however, very expensive. Um, he made the two for us for, I think, a thousand two hundred rand, I think. But that was like a tester, like his was like really a prototype thing. And then for us, he did make it like fancier, but still something he just kind of created out of his head. And then he also said if we were ever to refer people to him, then he would charge them around 960 Rand. So it's very big, it's very massive, very expensive, but they're amazing. So I didn't bring the wheel here because it's so big, but I'm going to show you footage now of what the wheels look like. So there you guys go, there's my store slash product review from Muscota. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe so that you can see future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!